What's going on, guys? We are back once again, and we are going to be discussing the last and final installment of The Lost Boys. We are going to be talking about Lost Boys The Thirst. Now, this is the last film within the franchise, and this kind of went really weird, in my opinion. Uh, again, I love the franchise, don't get me wrong, but the way they ended, I wouldn't say ended it, but they really did touch up on some things, but still didn't make sense for the storyline as well as also what they were trying to do. Now, apparently the entirety of the film is you have this one girl who is an author and she goes to Edgar for help to supposedly save her brother by the name of Gwen and she wants help and Edgar finally agrees even though he's been somewhat retired for however many years because unfortunately him and Alan are no longer hunters because due to Alan got turned and he's been keeping him uh, in hiding slash uh, alive for however many years and Alan just you know he's living out his days in exile and unfortunately he does go to him for help because he's really the only person that he knows can maybe help him. And he says, no, I can't. You know the reason why. He says, why don't you go to, you know, uh, Laddie? You know, he has a family now. Why can't you go with Sam or Michael or Star? He says, I'm not on good terms with them because he had to take down Sam because apparently Sam did get turned. So what I said previously in the last uh, Lost Boys video, that that's what happened. Is apparently they had two different endings that Sam did get turned and uh edgar had to put him down and then also alan became a vampire he had you know either put him down or he had to stop him some way somehow but it does get shown that um they were trying to help a congressman and when alan got separated from them that's how he got bitten and that's how he got turned so it's kind of cool how they do show that and basically what we're seeing in this uh movie is you got this new kind of club deal of vampires that they're trying to turn everyone in their path and then when this happens we see where they're trying to do some major club type of event and when this happens you see that um dj x is apparently the head vampire in this film and in actuality spoiler alert because again this came out in 10 so it's not really like we're spoiling too much that they are actually some, somehow or other the head head vampire like it is like literally the first vampire which is weird because again you think it'd be like dracula or something like that but again it's not the it's not the vampire that we think that is uh they've been draining him and they've been using him for some type of uh experiment to, to basically use him use his blood to create other vampires so they could be the main ones in the world as of right now and that's pretty much how it goes. Now, we do get a crime for crazy ending by one of the characters turning out to possibly be a possible werewolf, which is kind of crazy. So they left you on a cliffhanger on that. They also left you on a interesting cliffhanger on where all these other characters go, because pretty much by the second one, it continues with uh, Edgar. And again, Corey Feldman continued the franchise in his own way. And he tried carrying it, but I think, unfortunately, with not having uh, Corey Haim in this, not having someone from the more of the original cast just didn't hold up and, and i really hate to say that it really just it didn't hold up as much i think as the fandom would think and it just it kind of hurt the movie and there were certain parts in the movie that was amazing and there was other parts of the movie where it was like all right dude i don't care about this or all right come on like i don't, I don't want to see this and you they try really hard they really do and unfortunately it just kind of failed in the long run and i really I don't always watch this film. I always go back to the first film. There's parts in this film that are just really good um, shots made. There are really good uh, action scenes where um, Edgar goes to get help from someone. And it was like a former congressman that became a hunter. And he has like UV lights on top of his place that, you know, after they get to a vampire attack. And then also what Edgar, you know, actually became an ordained uh, priest to where he, you know, speaks in latin he's able to kill someone by you know making it holy water so i thought those were badass scenes but uh, if you guys have never seen lost boys the thirst the third final song of the lost boys i highly recommend you check this out because again it has everything that normal lost boy movies is going to have it's going to have drama thriller action adventure comedy you know things of that nature they tried to do everything from the first one to the second one to put into the third one but it did not work so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below if you guys are new to the channel also subscribe leave a big like on the video if you guys enjoyed and I'll see you as always on the very next one.